<sighs> Here we fucking go. <laughs> Konnichiwa everyone. How are you doing today? I hope we're doing alright wherever you're watching this from. My name's Dan, forgot to mention that part. Today, I mean yeah. Oof, I don't like this place very much, I tell you that for note. But we're gonna have a walk around and have a look what's going on. So here we go. We've entered Don Quixote. I'm currently looking at some weird gachapon. I'll turn the camera around so you can see. Ooh. Look at this. Sick gachapon. <laughs> that woman tried to restore that painting. Sick. Home appliances. Gachapon's sick, but that's not really why I'm here, to be honest. Snow monkeys and that. Anyway, I'm here today to talk about one of Japan's most famous shops, Don Quixote. Better known as Donkey. And basically, this is a chain shop all over Japan. And they've got big stores like this one. This is Mega Don Quixote in Otsu. As you can see here. And we've got a map that I'll end up ignoring and getting lost. There's also big ones in cities all over Japan. And basically, it's a shop, obviously. <laughs> but it's a shop that sells shit. And I honestly don't understand the appeal of this place. My masks with little vents in them. All right. Anyway, I don't get the appeal of this shop at all. I don't really get it. Eri-chan, on the other hand, she loves Don Quixote. So we end up here quite a lot. And today's video, got a new camera that I wanted to test out. So I thought, We'll come and walk around the X-Ray Chan wanted to come here anyway. And I can complain about how much I don't like this shop. <laughs> so Don Quixote, donkey for short, sells loads of things like Mega Black Friday things. I don't really know what they are. What's Mega Black Friday? Is it better than regular Black Friday? These are like lucky bags, a bit look at it. But cool, whatever. Don Quixote sells a lot of shit. And some of it, I guess, is kind of cool. Like camping things. That's useful for you in December, isn't it? Camping things. Captain Stag. Art fire. Neo photogenic campfire. What the fuck is that? What is a photogenic campfire? A Neo one at that. You can hear that song in the background. That's Don Quixote song. He winds me up. And this is the mascot. Donkey Chan, probably. He's ready for Christmas, though. I don't like him. I don't like him. Same as I don't like his shop. But <laughs> many of you are just thinking, like, stop being miserable, Dan. And I would, but I don't like, I don't like it. I get confused by this shop. Because it just seems to sell random shit. Like, you want a hat that's a polar bear? Don Quixote will sort you out. You want some gloves with googly eyes on it? I'll also sort you out. But, I don't understand why people come here. And I especially don't understand why people like coming here. Especially every chan I ask her and she's like, because it's good. Can't argue with that logic, can you? Sort of shop that sells Crocs. Can't forgive it, can you? I'm not a fan of Crocs at best of time. Especially Crocs with purple insides like that. Oh. And just across way you've got makeup and that. And it says overwhelming price. <laughs> More Crocs. Hello Kitty sandals. Alright, safe. Then this is kinda like this part's kinda super drug. 
where you just buy makeup and that. I always end up at makeup section. Um, next to girls that are laughing too much. Mate, look at these things. They're horrible. Don Quixote Crocs. They are fucking horrible. I hope any chance I've seen them because she'll fucking have them. <laughs> so I get confused because, like, what kind of shop sells Don Quixote Crocs for babies? Next to makeup. And next to Tom and Jerry t shirts. It's a bit hard to decide, isn't it? Um. One thing I don't understand is why, why it's so popular. Everything's kind of overpriced. Like Toy Story 4 Instamax. What's that? Devil's Holder. Right. Like loads of stuff for smartphones and that. Uh, over here, we've got like yoga things. So it kind of covers all bases. It's like if we sell a bit of everything, it'll be good, I guess. I guess. Get some, get out gains. Get some protein down you. Some kind of chin strap. Why? Why though? It's like 1,400 yen. Why? About a tenner for a chin strap. Get some color contact lenses. For some reason, like, no, I mean, it just sells everything, and I don't really understand it. Anyway, that's enough for me just saying I don't understand why there's so much stuff here. There is, that's the point. And foreigners who come here always seem to absolutely buzz on Don Quixote. They're like, this is the best thing about Japan. And I don't understand it at all. Actually, I do. It's Chris Broad's fault. Better known as a broad in Japan. It's his fault, because he makes videos here, and like, look at all these weird stuff you can buy. Like, air comfort bras. I don't know it. I do not know it. Or oh, cool shape jeans. Whatever. And a uh, cute eye, apparently. Body core breath trainer. So yeah, it's, it's weird that they sell so much stuff. The fuck is this? I don't know, you put that in your mouth. And does summit. What's this? It looks like how to use. You put headphone in, put your mouth there, and scream in your own ear. Really? That that can't be real. Same company that makes this weird mouth holder is the same company that makes a thing to scream in your own ear kind of backs up my point doesn't it that about <laughs> random shit it's like a back scratcher yes go on son anyway Chris Abroad made videos about Don Quixote and that made all foreigners who come to Japan want to go to Don Quixote and I'll be honest, when I first come to Japan, I went to Don Quixote. And after about five minutes, I was like, what is this? It's horrible. Um, yeah, like, I think the thing for me is that this... I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see me for a second. Hello again. So I think, for me, the thing with Don Quixote is that it's basically the physical version of them shit television shows that try and sell stuff. You know them as seen on TV products. And like QVC. It's basically the, sh the real life version of QVC. Oh, huh? 18 only, is it? But all rude things are in there like butt plugs and nipple clamps or something. <laughs> Get demonetized if I go in there though. It's basically QVC in real life version. And QVC, sorry Elbow, but it's full of shit, you know it is. So don't give me that shit. But it's one of the reasons I don't like it. And it's like a maze. Some of these Don Quixote's are like. How can I describe it? Like Donkey Kong. Remember original Donkey Kong game? 
and we had to run along and go up that ladder and then go back and stuff like that. Reminds me of that, especially big ones in Osaka, like you can only go up one flight of these stairs and then you have to take an elevator. Next minute, you're lost, you're alone on a rainy Tuesday night in makeup section. <laughs> and it's horrible. Oh well. Put your back round. Nowadays, this is a thing in Japan. CBD vaporizers. And it's a thing, as you can see here. A bit weird. But, you know, if that's what you're into, fancy a bit of a bash on some CBD, they'll sort you out. Um, CBD, right next to blankets and that. Well, I uh, never. And I think reason people come here because they're like, ah, look how esoteric it all is. Dankashen. Look how esoteric it is and look at all crazy things we can buy. And I kind of get that. Like, if you just travel into Japan and you think like, fuck, I want to see some mad shit. Don Quixote is a good place to start. <laughs> if you want to buy a Giga Makura. <laughs> all right, safe. If you know, you know. If you want to buy a big Doraemon, actually I do want to buy a big Doraemon, how much is he? 2,900, so about 20 quid, that's kind of cool actually. Oh, that's cute, isn't it? But it's kind of the same thing, you can buy like, bags. Mmm. Right, now, now I've kind of shown you around a bit and explained that I'm not a big fan. Time to try and find something good to look at. Bags. Here we go. T-shirts. T-shirts with random Japanese on it. Some people like these things. What's this say? I believe in meat only. Well, whatever. <laughs> I don't really know what to do with that information. But it's there. So, people love to come here and look at like mad things with English and that. I think one thing for me these days with English is I've been in Japan too long, man. I see English and I'm a bit like, is it actually mad? Or is it just like normal and I'm just thinking too much about it? So that's one of the things with English these days. <laughs> Finding it harder and harder to spot some English. So I get a bit confused. And it's not that interesting if you've been here a while. You're like, eh, they don't know how to use English speakers to check things. Oh, well. <laughs> that's what I mean about Don Quixote. Took three wrong steps, ended up with the Braziers. All right. Found some socks though. Look at these bad boys, Shin Chan. And these are all 398 yen. Or three pairs for 998. Okay, he sent some Eevee socks. Some freezer socks there. Doraemon. They're actually kind of cool. Ikayaki socks, that's the one. Where's Wally? He's there, found him. Socks are good, that's the first thing I've seen that's sick. Umaibo socks, yes. But, you can buy socks anywhere. Don't really care about socks. What are you? Slippers, Cookie Monster slippers. No, Elmo slippers, not Cookie Monster. Whatever. They also sell like mad electronics and all. Chibi Marukocha. Cool. And a minion's cap. Madness. Now we're into all electronic goods. Massage things. These things that are defo just for people's shoulders. 
look at advertisements like Defo don't put them anywhere else just your shoulder that's all they're designed for right is it now <laughs> what need a wish I'll tell you that devil's things and um yeah underpants section now I guess everywhere you turn and all is like a little screen like this it's fucking noisy it's like a assault on all the sensors at once this place we're in pants section yeah demonetized Cos rudeness in it. What are we looking at now? Hot air fun. Hot air fun. What's the fun about it? It's hard to tell in it. See these over there look they're noisy as fuck. Takoyaki maker here. Make takoyakis with that. Sick. Harry Chan's here. Harry Chan, what are you buying? Yes. Some Go Go Gorilla Curry. Best thing about Tokyo. Some cheese. And some fake Oreos. And a bar of white garner. Well, are you having a nice time? Yeah. What's this? No, make idea. No idea, but it's an overwhelming price. Oh, every chance looking at things. I'm going to run away while I can. Rice cookers. These are important in Japan. Important things in Japan. Kasha pressure watches. How much is that? 15,000. Not bad, is it? And coffee makers. Next to 1980s product of the year, a soda stream. Bloody hell. Remember, you used to be able to make Tizer with them back in the day. Still a thing in Japan, apparently. Can't believe it, but it is. What do you want? Uh, a drink, please, mate. <laughs> drink, mate. Right. Half of these things don't really even know what they are. Crazy, but here we go. Secret life of pets. Every Chan loves it. <laughs> well, I'm going to leave you with that. <laughs> Went to toys now. Candy floss makers. And Giga Pudding. Here's some Pokemon over here. She wants that, whatever it is. This show is fucking popular at the minute. Kimetsu no Yaiba just blasting that theme tune all over, getting me copyright strikes and that. Blastoise, sick. Little plushes and that. Koi King there, look. He's baddest man. I like toys, even though I'm a 30, 36 year old man. Got some mad NES thing. Ooh, bloody hell. Bath bombs. Rubik's cubes. Yes, fam. I want a Rubik's Cube, but every chan never buys me one. Some board games, like Catan. They do have some things that maybe you'd want to buy, but surely you just buy them from a better shop. To be honest, that's my thought about it. I'm like, why would I come here when I could just go somewhere else? A cake app that says happy birthday on it. All right, cool. <laughs> And a real size rocking BB-8. If you want to look like a fucking dickhead, they'll sort you out. And now apparently we're entering Hobby Town. What kind of hobbies are they? 
Why is that? That's horrible. <laughs> That's horrible. The fuck is that? What's that? Oh. Remote control sumos. Well. I'm sick of this place now, every channel I've had enough. I want to go home. I want to look at nano blocks. Ryu and Ken. Every time I remember them, I want them for Christmas. Okay. Got some Pokemon ones and all. Like Koi King, bad man. Is there a look? Uh, there's also like a supermarket bit, which I think we're getting to now. Which is where each chance bought cheese and that from. I think. I'm already lost. It's just like a, a regular supermarket, but a bit different. For some reason. You can buy some things in bulk. Like... Marshmallows. Rocky Mountain marshmallows, no less. Buy some. Yes! Dairy milk! It was exciting. They say uh, Don Quixote will start selling Brazilian things. There's enough shops around here that sell Brazilian things. Oh, my ball. Next level. All right. Little Shin Chen things. Oh, I'm sick of it now. I want to go home. I'm gonna. Got all this shit. Uh, right, Eddie Chan, you can finish doing what you're doing. I'm gonna wrap this video up now. I hope you enjoyed this little walk around Don Quixote. I didn't particularly enjoy it myself. I made a video about this in past. I don't like Don Quixote. So many comments were like, well don't fucking go there then. <laughs> and logically it makes sense. But also I got a new camera and I wanted to mess about with it. And every time I wanted to come here anyway. So it seemed like a good thing to do. But I don't know. Let me know in the comment section that you think I'm wrong. And that Don Quixote is next level. And I'll be sure to disagree with you. Because I don't like it. In case you didn't get that overriding perspective. I don't like it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm somehow in alcohol section. This is the best part, obviously. I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Let me know in the comment section what you thought. And, as always, until next time. Jamata. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment below and bang a thumbs up on this video. While you're at it, you may as well smash that subscribe button and ring that bell and you won't miss a thing. And there's plenty more videos like this one. There's one here and one here. Maybe you'll see something you like. All my videos are supported by the Jadan fam on Patreon. You guys are awesome. And as always, until next time. Jamata.